What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Um, I have no idea what the date is. Okay, I found it. <laughs> it's April 26, 2021, up here in Big Bear, and we are getting some snow. It's 2.15 in the morning. Just started snowing about a couple minutes ago. Stayed up for this. Uh, yeah, just always, always makes me happy, and uh, dude, you guys have had the most amazing weekend. Most incredible weekend. I went to this big like a weekend party called Burning Rock in Yucca Valley and uh, had someone working for me while I was gone. Um, it was like, it was such an incredible thing and uh, what I went through, uh, dude, life changing. And uh, it's crazy because I'm, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish everyone could experience it, but it's, uh, yeah, it was very, 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 very heavy. Um, but it truly, uh, I don't know what happened. It like, it like brought about a spiritual awakening or something. And, uh, I'm just like more open to like be loved again and stuff like that. It's crazy. Just, just after like that one night of just, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I don't really want to go into it, but, um, so I'm not, <laughs> you know, but those of you who have, uh, had experiences might, might know what I'm referring to, but, um, it's not about getting a buzz with me. It's about finding myself and I'm willing to do whatever the hell it takes, <laughs> honest to goodness. And I've never, ever bought into that, but it's, it's, it was, I just can't, I just can't even explain it. And the love I have for my friends and the unconditional love and just, it's just, it's just magnificent. So anyway, hope you guys are all well. Sorry about all this crappy windshield. Uh, yeah, really bad. I didn't clean the inside of it, I forgot. For a minute, it didn't look like this was gonna happen. So I'm glad it ended up. Oops, take it easy there. All right, there we go. So yeah, we're just gonna go into those. This is gonna be done in a couple minutes. It's nothing big, but it's just, <laughs> It just warms my heart to be able to to have you guys back in my life, even just for a minute, you know? It makes me really happy. And um, <laughs> I'm just figuring it out so much right now. It's, it's just amazing. I'm figuring out so much. It's like I was, you know, I was always scared to have people in my life because I, I, I didn't want to get hurt. Never felt like I was good enough for them. And that's just no way to go through life because uh, I'll always be in the same spot, never experiencing the happiness, and I'm just not gonna go through that. It's not worth it. Because, dude, dude the happiness that I can provide for, for people and that I've, I've noticed my abilities, it's just, it's, it's remarkable. Like, like, and I don't know, literally overnight, a lot changed for me. I, it's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I'm just, I'm just really, really, really proud of the efforts and not being afraid to give myself intention and go after things. Yes, it's scary. It's scary when, you know, you're not doing the same thing every day, the same routine because, you know, don't, don't change anything. It's too scary. But I'm telling you what, if you want to grow and live life, and enjoy this gift we have. Don't do that to yourself. We're already hardwired for fear and stuff, guys. Like, like that's just, like, like, I don't know. Embrace it. Learn how to embrace it because we're always going to have it. It's part of being a human being. Like, it keeps us alive. It keeps us safe. But most people, they end up falling deep into that hole and they don't see any way out. And it's, it's just really sad because there, there are no weak people out there. There's just suffering people out there. We're all the same, man. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really going to focus on not caring what other people think and stuff like that because uh, those are the people who are hiding something. You know, we all have issues. We all have issues. So those are the people that are hiding something. And, yeah, you know, like... David Goggins says, like, don't care what people think. Like, don't give an F what people think, you know, like, <laughs> because once you come to the realization that everybody has effed up problems, we all have problems, it 
can become a lot easier <laughs> to to deal with it and then realize that you're the one growing whenever these people are talking down to you saying you're not going to make it you're not good enough they're just projecting what they think they can't do onto you and so you can just sit there secretly smiling at them like yeah go f yourself <laughs> you know i'm going to dominate you like it's it's and and i don't mean that in a in a you know in a bad way for lack of a better word oh uh, yeah but uh It's like any time something comes into my life that has an impact where it has essentially filled the void in some areas, I mean, I'm not going to not tell you guys. I'm not. If it, if it helps one of you, if it helps one of you. <laughs> seriously like just just try to go by my experiences try to live through other people's experiences learn from their mistakes don't you don't have to make those same mistakes just be very cognizant have good people in your life people who, who build you up not simply kiss your ass don't choose your don't don't handpick the people in your life those aren't the right people those are not the right people be more vulnerable have the people in, in your life that are going to, you know, keep you honest, keep you accountable. Because you're going to keep on pushing forward because you're loving respect for yourself and them. Like, I just realized how much I love my couple of friends yesterday. Like, that I'm willing to go to the end of the earth to succeed, to help them succeed. Like, and it's, it's no effort. It's zero effort. It's zero effort. It's, oh man. Anyways, we're getting snow right now. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Phil. Oh, guys, look, man. It's all about helping each other out, okay? We're in this thing together. We're in this thing together. Love each other. Love each other. Touch each other. The human touch, man. Like, it, it's... Yeah, it was pretty amazing last night. It, like, uh, once again, not going to get into it, but it's, it's like just just human-to-human -human touch. Just unbelievable. And I'm not talking anything sexual. Nothing like that. I'm going beyond that. Above and beyond that. To a point of transforming your life. You know, going into those situations just with love. Not using both heads, you know? And that's all I want, man. I've had enough of that. Like, you guys are my friends. Like, yeah, dude, like, over my 41 years, I, I can't even count how many girls. And that's sad. That's sad. I don't even remember half their names. It's very sad. You know, I've learned that that's just a temporary solution for a long-term problem that type of release it's just like taking a drug you get nowhere you get nowhere it just prolongs your pain and i'm desperately not not desperately but i'm putting it out there like by my actions and just who i am that i want more than that like 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 that's that's not that's not what i want i want that that touch you know being close having someone support you be there for you no matter what no matter what if you have people in your life you got married this and that blah blah they don't support you they don't believe in you well you made the wrong choice I'm sorry to say it you need to get out and uh you know like like <laughs> it sucks but you know you gotta be the best for yourself and when you don't have the right support system around you you're screwed and that that can be your family too so it's uh that's what separates the men from the boys basically that's a hard one. But if you value yourself and your time on this planet and your ability to, to really shine and help people smile and become better themselves, then my God, you're willing to do whatever it takes. And please, like, give yourselves a chance. I love you guys a lot. You guys have helped change my life a lot. Um, I don't know where I'd be without you. I know that sounds stupid uh, without much context, but those of you who watch this channel for a long time, you, you know a bit about what I've been through and um, 
and I'll always keep on sharing it because once again, if I can help you, <sighs> life is good. Life is great. So anyway, you guys take care. I love you guys a lot. I think I said it was the 26th, right, of April, and we're getting some snow. Peace out, guys. Miss you guys so much.